All right, hello, hello. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can hide Yoast SEO breadcrumbs. Um, if you're not familiar with Yoast SEO breadcrumbs, um, this is a tool that's used by a lot of blogging pages when they have uh, page on page on page, and then they have a bunch of sub pages, and then maybe within those sub pages, they have more sub pages, right? Um, and it just helps with uh, understanding how to get around a website, especially if you're a new user or if the site isn't built particularly well um, and it isn't built with a sense of navigation. It can be hard to figure out where you are uh, and where that one page was that you were just looking for, right? So especially if you have a big site, I actually don't recommend turning off Yoast SEO, but if you do have a, a very small site with maybe just a few blog posts here and there and you're using Yoast SEO for um, improving your search engine optimization, which a lot of people do. It's probably one of the best free tools out there for Wix. Um, then I'm going to show you how to do that. So uh, first go to um, metapd.co resources right here, and you're going to get, uh, you're going to get to this page right here under the HTML and CSS page. So um, from here, there's this code that I've put together for you guys, and we're just going to copy that. And then we're going to go into the back end of my WordPress site. So I'm going to pause. All right, so now I'm in the back end of my WordPress site, and I'm going to go look for something called the CSS customizer. Um, that's right here within the back end of WordPress. So I'm just going to minimize myself here. And depending on what your hosting situation looks like, on who you're hosting with, um, how you purchased your license for WordPress, maybe for Jetpack, right? Um, that customizer section might be in a couple different locations, but essentially what I'm looking for is the main place for me to make um, kind of site-wide or site-level um, edits. So I'm going to go to, for me, it's in appearance. Now, um, there's a couple things to know here. If I go to appearance and then just go to additional CSS, this is going to take me into the CSS uh, this is actually, I'll just show you. If I click on that directly, it takes me to the integration between Jetpack and um, theme enhancements. And it asks me to enhance my CSS customization panel. I can turn this on, but I actually don't need to. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, I'm going to go again back in that appearance section. And instead, I'm just going to go to customize. And now that I am in the customized section, um, and this will be a little bit different depending on, again, your hosting um, and the theme that you're using on your WordPress site. Um, if you're using a built-in one, it'll probably be in the same spot. If you're using Divi, it might be in a different location. I'm using Salient as my theme, so mine is um, a little different here. I could technically hit change here within my active theme, but again, I don't need to. I'm gonna go to additional CSS. And then I'm just going to paste that code that I copied from my website right there. Boom. So how do I know that this works? Well, for one, Yoast SEO isn't showing up on my home page right here. So I don't know for sure that it worked yet. So one thing I need to do, I'm actually going to remove this. And then I'm going to go back to one of my pages that I know has Yoast SEO on it. So that'll be my resources page or that HTML CSS page. So yeah, look, here we go. Here's my Yoast SEO just right there. Now I am just going to paste that code right in here and boom, it's hidden. Okay, so that should be pretty easy. Once you hit publish, that should hide it everywhere that it is on your site. Um, if you still see it in a couple locations, here's what you do. Um, so this is actively looking for any, it's called a class called Yoast. Um, and I found that by here, we'll just remove this code here for now. I found that by right clicking on it and hitting inspect. And then this tells me over here on the side what I'm looking for. So this right here, this ID is Yoast. Yoast is the class that I'm looking for. If I wanted to, I could go one step further and do uh, breadcrumbs, but I'm looking for this class right here, right? So. Um, with that class, I'm just going to use that 
and boom, now it's hidden. So just so you're aware, this actually isn't removing it. All it's doing is it's hiding it from the user. So um, the breadcrumbs are still technically there and uh, it's possible it could have some sort of a slight hit towards your site speed, but it's really not gonna be that important. Um, and that's how I'd recommend removing uh, Yoast from Yoast breadcrumbs from your website. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, thank you. Bye-bye.